You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's our show. Welcome to This House of Books. We have with us today uh, Dr. Bernie Quetchenbach, who uh, has a, a recent book out that he's uh, uh, the editor of. Um, it's called Ecopoetics Anthology, Poetics for a More Human World, an Anthology of Poetry and Commentary. This is a, a collection of poets from around the world, that, uh, and the focus is on the human impact on the natural world, uh, which has been something of a strong personal interest for you, uh, Bernie. In fact, you're recognized among uh, your peers as a pioneer in the field of study known as eco-poetics. Your 20 uh, or 2000 book, Back from the Far Field, American Nature Poetry in the Late 20th Century is recognized as one of the texts that launched uh, eco-poetics. So um, what can you tell us about eco-poetics? There's an anthology called the Eco-Poetry Anthology. And the, the, the anthology divides nature-themed poetry into three parts. So eco-poetry is one of those three parts. So eco-poetry has to do with a more comprehensive sort of formal um, attempt to entangle nature and humanity, right? So it's, it's not pastoral, it's not poetry about nature, it's more like poetry that attempts to be nature uh, or in a certain way, right? So uh, there, there's a lot of experimentation, there's a lot of uh, sort of um, uh, kind of blending of the, the, the sort of disrupting of the notion that there is a, an I over here and it, it over there, right? So that, that kind of, um, of, of combination of, of approaches, I suppose, would be one way to look at it. Well, there seems to be uh, uh, a particular concern for addressing public issues and... Uh, yeah, that's yeah. true too. Yeah, yeah. Although, okay. although some of it is rather esoteric too. So it kind of does range. Right, you know, some of the poems are, are kind of wildly experimental in appearance. Um, so they're not like anthems, that, that sort of thing, right? You know, uh, yeah. so, yeah, yeah. Okay, well then tell me about this book. Uh, you know, where does the title come from? Um, the title was something that um, uh, we, the three, we have three editors and uh, we, we were sort of thinking of a way to take a comprehensive view of humanity and then expand from there, right? So uh, it's not just sort of 21st century Western people, it's all people. And from all people, it expands to uh, animals and to the forces of nature. Some of the poems are, are uh, based on chemical processes. Some of them are based on minerals, uh, you know, so it's an attempt to be, to, to acknowledge that we are embedded in this much larger system than ourselves. Uh -huh. okay. okay. So um, you mentioned the book has three editors. Um, there's Mary Newell, uh, Susan Nolan, and yourself. And they're the very Sarah, large Sarah number Nolan. of poets. Hmm? Sarah Nolan. Sarah Nolan. There yeah. we go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, there are a very large number of poets involved. And so... Tell me, what is it that uh, an editor of an anthology such as this does? What is that job? Well, uh, I, was, I was invited to be a co-editor by Mary Newell, whose project it originally was. Um, and we added Sarah later. So as editors, we, uh, we tried to define the, the, the kind of field we were interested in. And we wanted it to be both broad-based and to have some sort of integrity as it, it, at the same time. So we wanted it to have like a kind of conceptual unity while at the same time be international in scope uh, and, and as, as vast as we could, we could make it. So part of what we did was try to expand the base of what we were, we were looking at. We, it started as a, as a special issue of a journal and um, a journal was, the journal was called Dispatches from the Poetry Wars, 
right? And the journal included both poets and, and critics and reviews. And we dropped out the reviews when we made it into a, a, a print volume just because reviews seem more time sensitive, you know, and we wanted it to be something that would, would last. But we still have both the, the, the poetry uh, and the criticism. Um, and we tried basically to expand from there to include uh, poets from other places. I think we have five continents represented, um, something like that. Um, we, we, we are, are a little short on uh, Antarctic poets. We couldn't, uh, you know. <laughs> but, um, you know, and, and to have a sort of, of, of sense of, of uh, it's all contemporary writers. Um, there are some translations. There are um, some, um, some echoes, uh, for instance, one of, one of the, the contributors is a three-person a three sort of, of team that collaborates on responding to Emily Dickinson. So there are some echoes from, from the past in there as well, right? You know, uh, but it's, it's uh, so we, th that's what we were looking at. We wanted to include things that sort of reflected the, the, more, um, the more experimental, uh, you know, things that aren't often in other anthologies as well as one of the things we were thinking of is, is how to make this a unique contribution right, to its field. Yeah. So as, as editors, what then did you do? Well, uh, we advertised, right? We put out um, generally, uh, well, we, we put out some, um, some uh, calls for, for submissions. Uh, we evaluated those submissions as, uh, as they came in. Um, we built a big grid with them basically, and we, and we had them yes, maybe, or no. And then we revised them basically from there. Uh, and we wanted to shape the, the uh, uh, con contribution so that we weren't over, uh, overwhelming. Uh, uh, we didn't have an overwhelming number from one single person. And yet we also wanted to reflect the, the very, like some of the poems are quite short, but some of them are quite long. So, uh, for instance, a poet named Brian Teer submitted uh, a, a poem that's something like eight, eight or nine pages long, and we included that, right? So we wanted to be able to be expansive in that way as well, which is how it ended up to be 500 pages, right? So <laughs> about 400 pages of poetry, about 100 pages of prose. That's, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow. <laughs> well, there's quite a lot of work in here. It's very, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's I'm, I'm counting, uh, I think, 138 uh, contributors, uh, and some have, there's some illustrations. Um, yes. Uh, yeah. Some poems have more than one author. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 140 is a nice round number that pretty much reflects how many people are involved in it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. In any case, it's a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. well, so this is just launching now. Yes. Um, yeah. And uh, it's available from a variety of sources, including, I'll just mention, this House of Books in downtown Billings, Montana. Um, anything else that uh, you want to mention about this? Yeah, I should, I should uh, also mention that two undergraduate students uh, made uh, significant contributions. The cover was designed uh, by a student at um, Washington State, I think, university. Uh, they had a contest. Uh, and and the design of the cover came from an artwork that was produced in, in that contest. And we had here at MSU Billings, um, we were able to, to, uh, um, to work with a student intern named Brie Barron, who is the primary designer for the entire book. So, which was a, 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 a huge undertaking. And it is. Uh, we would not have this book today if not for her. Right, you know, so yeah. yeah, yeah, it's underestimated very often how much work goes into the design of a, a book. Yes, it's, it's a lot. So right, yeah, fabulous. Well, we should get a hold of her maybe and visit with her next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's in town, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. okay. Well, yeah. thanks so much for uh, visiting with us about this. We'll uh, we'll be looking for the book uh, at at this house of books and and. Uh, I think it's there. It shows up on the website, so it's there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.
All right. Thank you. This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.